I don't dive, I don't flip. But brother, I know true. Jobber Nation! Welcome to another episode of the Java Tears Podcast. As always, I'm Janelle Kamitra here with Sir Wilkins and Mr. Black. Um, thanks to the guys for holding down the fort last week while I was on vacay. Hashtag BJ. Um, thank you for everyone for the well wishes, birthday wishes. I appreciate all the love. It was really, really dope um, this past week. Um, how was recording last week? What did you guys touch about? What did you guys talk about don't, don't a little bit? You already know I don't listen to anything. So I don't I don't know why we acted surprised. So that you missed out there. Watch well, the then, no, I'm, I'm not. So Watch the episode what's done is done. On Instagram. You missed what's out. Done. You know what's so funny? I had I was talking to Mikey earlier. I was like, yo, I don't know what we're going to talk about. Because wrestling's kind of been on low, low. And he was, I was like, well, what did they talk about last week? Because he kind of pulled it up when we was at Universal. And... <laughs> And then he was like, yo, just watch. He said, basically, they only talked for like 45 minutes and had posted all the clips. I said, oh, okay. Shout out to Stephanie but, Hardy, Mama Dershey. Happy birthday. Your fellow Virgo. But, um, yeah, there's a ton. Oh, of congratulations on your Comic-Con spot. Stephanie Hardy. Yes. Um, there will be a panel featuring Stephanie Hardy uh, along with some other women in wrestling during Comic-Con weekend, which is, I believe, the second weekend in October Mm -hmm. here in New York. So make sure to come out and support that. Um, We have Battle Club Pro's um, six-year anniversary show, October 1st. Um, So it's coming up in about two weeks. Um, So tickets are on sale. You already know Yaya's about to win, y'all. Tickets are on sale now. Anyone um, interesting in sponsoring or any of that stuff, let us know. Um. Oh, thank you, Smart Psychology Podcast, for joining us, and thank you so much for the birthday related birthday wishes. Um, thank you for everyone that's joining on the live. Actually, well, it's a little later than you have. Come on, man, let's talk, man. Yeah, like, actually, this can be a really interactive show just because wrestling's been kind of like on the on the low low. Um, they're gearing up, I think, for. Um, a really interesting final quarter of the year because you know you have extreme rules coming up, they're going back to Saudi in November. You have Survivor Series, they just announced Royal Rumble in San Antonio, um, in January. Um, and then once again, WrestleMania tonight in LA. Um, but um, let's get to it. Let's talk about let's talk about um, they just released this past week the um, PWI 100 list. Yeah. Um, where Roman Reigns was the number one um, for 2022. Of course, um, of course, of course, he is. As you can see acknowledge him. Right acknowledge him. Yo, what's good, oh, man? Yeah. You can't, you can't see. You. <laughs> acknowledge. Um, oh, acknowledge. Gene. Before we talk about PWS list, um, Gene, shout out to Gene. Ask me what were what are my thoughts on CM? <laughs> oh Lord, Philip. Hello. Um, what are my thoughts? I you get to a point where you're just like, whatever. Like I'm at that whatever stage. In, in all honesty, um, I'm not really, you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Like I don't really. But the know, real needle mover is Roman Reigns, who is number one. Uh, who was number two? There were some others in the top ten. Bobby was in top ten. Jonathan Gresham was in the top ten. Um, CM Punk, I think he was number three. So when Jonathan Gresham um, yells at Tony Khan again, he's going to say, I was in the top ten, motherfucker. <laughs> You're right. So those that um that have never, like, list, well, you know, read the PWI list, um, they do it yearly. Oh, so it goes too. From, okay, so it goes from June of last year to June of this year, um, and they base it off of a bunch of things, um, matches, wins, losses, impact on the wrestling community. So many other things that goes into their um, list. And so, yeah. So, what you call it? Roman was one. Okada was two. I think Punk was three. Um, who else was in the top ten? No. Well, I know Bobby was in the top ten. Ah, someone said Seth Rollins should have been in the top ten. Um, no, no. Because if you go Why you say no? Because K Fabe, he hasn't won no matches. 
Mustard. Well, but you can but you had the biggest, but but he had big influence though. But can you say the same about him. Roman in the last year? Like, how many matches did Roman really have? He won all his matches. It's not the about matches. I didn't ask that. I asked how many matches did he honestly really have? He yeah, but he won all his matches. That doesn't matter. Also, exactly. Sefi was on a bit of a losing streak the last six months, and then he also I mean, made events. Yeah, but Seth had a huge pro, pro profile though. But he lost. It does not match her. But that's not the. But see, you the thing is, that's not the only. That's not the only thing. Championships. They do not say you're the greatest running up in the world. No. No, you but see, lost. the thing about. But the thing though is, you guys are stuck on the wins and losses thing. That's not the only thing that is a criteria to be on that that be on that list. So yes, yeah, Seth didn't. had one of on here, and they told you. Where the losses matter because we got to keep with the case. I'm not, I'm, you're not, you're not listening. I'm not saying that it doesn't matter. I'm saying there are other components that I do think Seth did fulfill. Now, do but I think he could have been in the top 10? No, did he have like a long way with championship? No, so he does like okay. If you take it like if you had all the elements in there and it and like and like and like, like um, it wasn't a cave fade, yes, he's gonna be a top five, but he added so, a element to it, he does not. You were saying so? Yeah. So like, how you talking? But you don't wait. Hold on, hold on. So because I'm, I'm looking it up, actually. He probably looking at the list. So the win loss record. So so the criteria is this: win loss record, which 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 Seth has a horrible win loss record. Mm -hmm. Championships win. Seth didn't win a championship this year. Thank you. The only thing that he has going on for himself is the quality of competition, major mm -hmm. feuds. Mm -hmm. And prominence within within WWE. Okay. And his overall wrestling ability. But the things that weigh heavy. Oh, are, shout out to whoever just put Cody was number six. Daniel Bryan was seven. Um, somebody else was seven. Can you put that back up? Because they somebody had listed the, the last like after five. Um Big E was number nine. Which is low key interesting. Uh, yeah. No shade, but nope, that's nah, very nope. interesting. Oh, Someone said my that. personal top 10 smart psychology yeah. podcast. I will certainly give you my top 10. <laughs> Number one, the tribal chief Roman God. Reigns. The tribal oh. chief Roman Reigns is number one. Now acknowledge him, smart psychology podcast. Number two, number two. People are going to laugh at me for this one. <sighs> Cody Rhodes. No, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I actually, Cody would have been top three for me. I'm putting Cody. I'm putting Cody. Number three. Cody would have been three top on three. My list. I'm going to do five. I'm going to do five. We both, all, all, all of us going to do five. Okay. Number That's three fine. on my list is, this is me personally. I'm putting Big Bobby Lashley. <laughs> I'm putting Bobby Lashley. Putting, putting Roberto on the top five. Okay, that's three. He on my, my top five. Number four on my top five. Not even going to hold you. I'm putting Chris Bosh, a.k.a. Aquaman, a.k.a. John Moxley. Yo, why is it disrespectful, son? Hey. Because he's the third best S.H.I.E.L.D. member. That's why. It's okay to be the second of the losers. That's not okay. <laughs> yes. And we're going to talk about five, we're going to talk to about round out my five. To round out my five, I'm putting Brian Daniel Son. Daniel Bryan. All right, Mr. Yeah. Black, your top 5 for the last year <laughs> from <laughs> June <laughs> to June by PWR. That nigga's one number number 1 is of course the um tribal chief acknowledge two, him uh of course number two i think it's been disrespect my man all year round josh alexander that thing's been smoking that marijuana yo that this one over here said josh alexander. josh alexander my nigga josh alexander be the walking weapon son the ball head energy it's real with him be it's real with him he's the top Five ball head energy wrestlers, be Can in the war. Yeah. Fuck out of here, son. Fuck out of here, son. That ain't gonna be knocking these other white boys, be 
That's two, B. So number this three. Next Josh Alexander. <laughs> yeah. Is number that what Number three. Number three. Number three. So we said Number Josh three. Alexander. <laughs> so you said we're naked everybody else. Nick is his neck in Josh. Can I finish? You know Can what? I finish? You gotta pause that and continue to number three on your list. <laughs> number three. Number three. Yeah. Number, three. number three. My nigga John Moxley, baby. You know why? Quality to match it. Every time you get Ain't a no match, quality is like, matching, but go ahead. Can I finish? He put on bangers out here, baby. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, son, it's his style. The crowd, son. When you think of AEW, think of Mox. He put that shit on his back, son, like a backpack, son. Call him Dora. Yet they, yet they let him. <laughs> he been playing hot potato with that fucking belt <laughs> the past two months. That's the only reliable one on that roster. Number four. Right, yo. Four. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Four. Let him finish. Number four. I will let him finish. Number four be MJF. Ooh. Ah, oh, can't give you that one, big dogs. He hasn't wrestled a lot. No, he has but, no championships. But he got the brass ring. <laughs> Yo, at first, I thought she was going to say he's a little darker now. <laughs> like, Whoa. You, you said the brass <laughs> ring. <laughs> Last and not least, niggas been shitting on him, and I get enough credit, son, from my nigga, my, my nigga Gun Tur. From his body transformation, Ooh, how that he just changed okay. the whole That's game not, and like bring him, bring him more like prestige to the IC title, B. But then started put in the work, B. Had a, a transformation, man. It's like yo, he's like Steve Nash when Steve Nash went to the the, the, the Suns. Come on. So, question, Janelle, before you do your your top five list, okay? Um, a lot of people were saying that they should mix the list now. Women and men should be together. I do think so. I absolutely agree with that. I think it's time, like, a, like, a list is a list, and wrestling is, has transcended um, to the point where everyone should really be on the same playing field in terms of of a list. So I think no, separating no. them um, is, it's almost like when you have, when they had, when you have an all female pay-per-view, but you can have women main event a pay-per-view. And that, for me, so, I, I mean, everyone handles their own list their own way, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I do think that eventually they should just combine. Like, what we wait for the women's list for when they could be the same? Because, to be honest, it would have been probably Roman and then Bianca was number two. And that's really what it probably would have been. Oh, can you undo this? Um, my top would have been, oh, fortunately, Roman. Um, not at, not in any particular order either. Um, it's definitely, I, no, I would have put Roman. I would have put, uh, yeah, because I no. looked at the list and I saw Trisha Doris name and I was like, uh, that's no, it. but well, I, well, the thing, I think, um, for not a shame to her, but, but no, I'm the one for the one who's saying that it, it should be just wrestling in general because I know they do intergender, but it should just be, I think, what we're trying to, um, say basically is that. Just combine it all together. Just have women right. on the same list because it's on just, the same list, and that's because fine. It, because it isn't like women wrestle on a separate show; they all wrestle on the same show. Right. So, um, so yeah, mine would have been and the WNBA. It's this. this mine would have been game. Roman, um, Cody, Braun Breaker. Actually, would have been in my top five. Um. Crazy enough, um, Zack Ryder. Yeah. Um, and then the last one, um, I'm just looking at this list. Um, last one would have been Bobby. So yeah, number six definitely would have been Carmelo Hayes. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm um, going by the impact that these people have have to have right now. So that that was my list. Impact. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I mean, those that are watching the live feed. Give your own top five. Um, it's you know, it's all in fun. It's all in you know, it's not it's not that serious, but it's also good to acknowledge, no pun intended, um, those that have really impacted the last year in wrestling. Um, I mean, really, it it really don't get say, no crazier. I was gonna say that honestly, this is like them making like an all star game, B. 
Because now you go from making $50 a match to 100 B. For 100 to 200 Z. Shout out to everybody no, that's right. raised he's their right. stock. And in and, and, and this, like, niggas don't know the amount of leverage you have now, son. This is this this is why it's important. And then how John can crush them, though. <laughs> you ain't sure. You ain't sure. <laughs> I'm letting these jokes fly, B. Cause they ain't As you should. I'm explaining to you why that internet is fly because this is this is my personal opinion. I think that he just handled it wrong. I just think that how there was a lot of like prior buildup of, of like disrespect, and Tony was the last one to take all the brunt of it. That's but what I think also think. Happen. I also think Tony has, and this and this is what people don't understand. And then I think people give Vince shit about it because sometimes it's a little off. Tony mm. has his vision about who's a superstar wrestler and who's not. I think everyone does. Yeah. But the thing about it, nobody gets on Tony about that. Because in his eyes, he doesn't think John Dick Russell is a superstar. That's, no. just, that, that's just what and it that's is. Just, but see, but the thing, though, is you can't, I don't want to say, because once again, I don't know behind the walls between Tony Khan and John Dick Russell, because that was a thing. I, I would have definitely been, would have loved to have been a fly on the wall. But my thing with Gresham, though, is you can't, you know, not, I don't want to say promise him the world, but you can't set him up than for him to fail. And in his mind, he he's being set up to be on a platform because he's, you know, essentially representing the ROH side. And then um, Dre, shout out to Dre, run the digits um, podcast. Uh, Hangman, uh, Hangman would have been maybe top 10, maybe not top five for me. Um, but yeah, um, it's just, yeah, it's a lot. Um, but I think because Tony Khan doesn't know what he wants to do ROH and Jonathan Gresham basically was like, I kept the title, I kept the brand relevant until you decided to pick it up. It was, I think it was more of a respect thing. And you know, you know, small niggas got Napoleon complexes, so it, it probably went zero to a hundred. It probably wasn't even a build up. He probably was like, What the fuck? <laughs> and <laughs> and that was that. Um, actually going back to Gene, Gene asked me about CM Punk's thing. Um, I don't care too much that <laughs> Tony Khan was just sitting there taking all that shit and let him sit there and let him say all that shit without him being like, okay, now <laughs> you doing the most. Um, that was my only thing. I was just like, he he let that man say, he sat there, let that man say whatever the fuck he wanted to say, mm-hmm. and knowing that was gonna cause some shit to pop off. Like Absolutely. you couldn't have. So I w- I've been y- y'all know. I'm quick to call something to work. I'm very 50-50 still on it, but I'm probably leaning a little more towards the work. Once they did the private investigation shit, that's what threw me off. I said, when in wrestling have you ever heard a private investigation about a brawl backstage? Like, that's like so saying, yeah, we hired... That's, why. that's, that's like why. that's like saying we hired a private investigator when Goldberg and, and Bret Hart probably had words. You know, like, like that shit don't make no sense. What'd you say? You argue? No, I was saying like it's almost like saying like when Bret Hart and um Goldberg got backstage after he concussed him and calling a private investigator to figure this, out this what is, happened. They're all liars, man. They're all liars. But see, but the thing though is like I you know what it is? I, I'm okay for a work that makes sense. And it's like this don't even make y'all look good. Like it's not even a work Thank that you. looks good. It's Thank a work you. that Thank looks you. trashy Thank and you. not Thank thought through, you. and it's like insulting my intelligence. Like it's it's like a work that is like it's not. If this isn't like if y'all really wanted to make CM Punk the bad guy, you're doing a terrible job at that because niggas ain't booing him still. Um, he kind of booed him, but then they end up booing Tony Khan on that episode of yeah, Dynamite the next day. I would have booed him too because, and that was another thing. He had the audacity to strip them of the titles, which I'm still 50 50 on because it was just like, mm-hmm. I don't think that was necessary because then the whole interim thing goes out the window when you do shit like that, low key. But he didn't even explain what happened. Like, he just was like, the titles are vacant and we're going to crown a new champion at Grand Slam and we're going to crown a new trio champion tonight. And it was just like, see, you have every, uh, you had the platform to really explain just even yourself. And you didn't do that. And it was like, okay. 
Yeah, yeah, I got it. I don't, I don't but, even, I don't even to the point. I don't even care anymore. Like that's how oh, bad it is. So Spark Psychology said this. Laugh out loud. I'm sorry, but the Bucks Omega side of the story is too innocent to believe. So I don't know if you heard this, but Kenny was there. <laughs> this, this is when it got stupid, and then he was there to save some save a cat from the fight. <laughs> no, you mean the door? <laughs> yeah, because he got because CM Punk got the door. But he, Kenny came to save the dog from the fight, bro. Because <laughs> Kenny don't want that smoke. <laughs> but he you think, the dog and you, ran think out. Kenny, you think Kenny Omega want this smoke? No. But my thing is this way. I don't know why everybody thinks it's a work, but you don't think more money is the footage of them fighting backstage? There's way more money in that, and then them just he say, she say. Think about it. But see, the thing, the thing though with the he said, she said thing is kind of like what we're doing now. It's keeping people talking about it. And yeah, that's again, what, that's the, the thing that keeps ticket, it going. Cool. But the golden ticket is that footage. If it was a work, there's more money in footage. Nobody believes words no more. It's actions. No, but I think, I think it's the fact that like Janelle said know. people are still talking about it. Like it's been like a, a it's over a week now, I think. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, a week. like they, like they, like they stopped, you know, recording being the elite. It's on hiatus. Um, they, which I, I didn't agree with them giving Death Triangle the trio title. I didn't agree with that. Um, but Kenny got you already... in the That's what makes <laughs> it so funny to me. This shit doesn't sound real. What? But my thing is, you don't know exactly. Can he got bit no. in the ear? Yes, because so yeah. Ace, Ace, whatever, like Tyson, Ace, Ace Steel, whatever the guy is. Um, oh, um, the yeah, that he was biting people. Okay, I do remember. Yeah, that. So he bit somebody in the ear, but then also supposedly, suppose there's a lawsuit going around too. Is that because CM CM Punk is trying to say his injury was aggravated even more from the fight. I don't even know if the injury is real. Like, and that's the shit with, with they done. I think they've broken so much trust that it's like you really just don't even know what's real and what's not. So at this point, it, you don't care. Like when but, you get to that point of like being frustrated and trying to like figure out, okay, what's really real? You're like, okay, actually now I don't give a fuck. Like it's like the whatever. MJ, the MJF stuff wasn't real. But okay. My thing is this way: what do they gain? For tarnishing their company like this, and this is the part that people feel nothing. To this. No, they but know, that's what no, 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 that's what that's what they I'm feel to realize. But but no 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 you, no 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 you're not listening. My question is, everybody think that is a work. It sounds stupid that y'all think is a damn work. I'm explaining to you why. If Warner Brothers just bought the um just just made a merger, you think that they'll make a work this bad on a company to make them look yeah. bad? No. Yes. Yeah, Yo, I do. I swear, Unfortunately, I, I swear y'all too swear y'all in wrestling, but but like y'all don't think it as y'all don't think it as like uh, the money right here. Think we don't know. We don't. Money. We don't see it the you way you see it, which is fine. Money. But let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Do you think that if this was a work, they would have the stories more better done? Pre- um, 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 like um, produ- um, like 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 whole production wise, they would got the stories no. together no. with better storylines. No, so no. you would no. think that. So, so like, so like, so like, you'll think that with all these events coming up, right? They're their third year, right? With everybody is in third year risking ratings just for a bad work. But it's not, it's not a risk in ratings, like because they've been up in ratings. It's not a risk. Like so, they so, took the I'll risk. Tell you, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Number one, the reason why I Yo, think it's a word. I watch too much wrestling, so. No, no. Hey, I watch too much fucking no. wrestling. But, but hold on, swear, hold so. on. But hold on. The reason why I think it's a work is because the MJ, the MJF stuff was a work. The entire thing was a work. He cursed out, cursed out the whole entire company, cursed on TV, did a bunch of stuff. They had the dirt sheets behind the whole situation. And then he, he and then next thing you know, he turns out, wins the uh, casino battle royale. Something called, I and guess, they, and they doing, out. and but they low key doing the is, same thing. Yeah, I could like that. Adults cannot have conversations. But like, the thing, no, I'm not acting that. Like, no, 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 no. Because, because, like, that's why y'all all sound a wrestling fan. Y'all cannot say that, yo, we had a conversation. This happened. The MJF thing and this whole brawl things is two different incidents. But the thing because, is, because like, is, the MJF where's the thing, medical? Where's the medical? Why, why, why won't nobody was taking turn in the ambulance? Why didn't we hear nothing about that? 
All we heard was he got injured. Let me ask you a question. Every time that somebody hit their head in practice, they go to the hospital? No. No, he tore something. He <laughs> tore something and but, it aggravated, it got worse. But, but, he can't wrestle. but that's what I'm How do you on, know hold that? On. Hold but how on, do you hold know on. that? Hold on, hold on. What I'm trying to tell you is the fact that the matter is maybe you are right. Maybe this is all reality. I'm not saying that it's not 100% reality, but it's a strong part of it to work because they have talked about how they're kind of going to use psychology with their son to try to make it more realistic. The number two is the fact that we haven't talked about the pay-per-view, but we're still talking about this whole situation. Tony, and, that, and the thing about it, it has that pay per view up. is long gone, and ain't nobody even talking about anything and, 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 that happened on that pay per view. Like Janelle mentioned earlier, there's been a bump in the ratings, so it has helped him out. He did a Yo. whole scrum, he did a whole scrum just about him cursing everybody else out. Now, 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 could it, could it be reality? Of course, it could be reality, it could definitely be reality. But there's a certain part of it of this be, of it being a word because a lot of times in wrestling they you have you have to you have to do you have to do the extreme to make things believable because we are so far removed from the part from from, from, from an, um a time in wrestling where there what we didn't pull back the curtain whatever was in front of us we believed it or or, or we just uh, niggas we, believed uh, for almost twenty years Undertaker and Kane were brothers yeah so we that was Yahoo. That. That was but, but the thing is, the, but, no. but, but the thing is, but the thing is now we're at a, such a different place where we know we as fans know too much. So if it is a work, that's a, it's a smart work because now we're gonna use the fans' fake intelligence about about knowing the business against them. But, now, but my thing is this way: y'all always say something. It's a work. Every little thing. Someone dies. It's a work. Someone does this. I don't know. Work. Someone does, someone I'm not gonna say it's a work. No, 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 no. I'm not saying y'all. I'm just saying a lot of fans will say everything is a work. It's to the point where, like, had oh, sex harassment, it gotta be a work. How gotta be a work for? Like, it just says stuff for what it is. Like, yo, shit that happened in wrestling really does happen. There's emotion. Because there's everybody going, has but trust some... issues in wrestling. You're not gonna just take no. you, you we're, we're in a we're in a we're in an era where you low key, like you can't take people's word for shit. And it, and, a, and a huge part of that is as um, Wilkins mentioned, a lot of that is because a lot of the information that's being done, whether it's AEW, WWE, Impact, MLS, whatever it is, it's accessible. Growing up, that stuff was not accessible. So now, because it's accessible, yeah, they're gonna feed you different things. They're gonna tell you. Th they're gonna tell you what you want to hear. They're not gonna tell you what it really is. And that's where that blurred line is. Like yeah, like. Yes, some of the things could be real and some of the things could be fake. And but at the end, the, the the bottom line to it is at this point where we are right now, is you about to get Dean Ambrose versus Dean Bryan next week in New York for the world title. That's that's, that's where we we've we've come to that. So think about it, I'm not a fan of that, but it also shows it let's say let's say this is all real, Mr. Black. Let's say this is all real, this Janelle. It just shows the lack of professionalism among that team. Yeah, that's because it. That's you had you guys legit had to at the end of the day, the literally had to depend on three ex WWE guys to be professional. And the ones I'm talking about is Jericho, Daniel Bryan, Daniel, Daniel, and, and Moxley. At the end of the day, it was those two men. Who you have to to rely on, and you spoke about Moxley holding that that company on his back. I don't think he's a hundred percent holding on, holding the company on his back, but at the end of the day, he is the most reliable motherfucker. And that let me tell you, he was playing. So that that was a part of why the belt came off him. He was he was supposed to take time off, and now he can't because all this shit going on. So it's just like at the end of the day, it's, I, I I will agree with you, Mister Black, in the point of what's the what's what's the point of all of this if there's no like real thing that's going to come out of it but i guess they figured this is their way of shaking up stuff too it, it could be a mixture of things and, and we probably may not even ever know like we're we're at that point where we're like well when they come back they come back because they did the same thing with um when mjf did that whole um promo and they took him off everything took him off the website all that shit they did the same thing in the bucks kenny and, and cm punk all them shits is down on their website 
They, 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 it's the same thing. So it's almost. So that's why another reason why you like what? What is going but on? Another thing too. Another thing too. Reason why that I know it's not a word because my brother said it a couple of weeks ago. Tony is a, a is a Twitter hoe. He likes what people think of him. So the fact that how that he get all his bad press, he don't want that. So why want more bad press? But but wow. also I also think it's because he's working the dirt sheets as well. Low key. But but we don't know. We don't know. And that's the point. And, and that's and that's yeah. the beauty about the situation because you can say that that that, that it's not a work, that's reality. Me and Janelle can say, yo, it might just be a work. That's the beautiful thing about this whole situation. They don't they they put they possibly pushing back the video game shit and the promo for that because Kenny suspended and all it's just like I'm not, like that's why I I will agree with you in that point of like what's the point of all of this, but then on the flip side you get the whole people still talking about this, so this is why this is a thing. So it's it's just I don't I don't think that was the route to go if you really wanted to make me a fan that that this ain't it. Exactly <laughs> this ain't gonna hit. Um, but yeah, I think yeah. because I think because Tony is such a fan that he thinks it's gonna hit. And we all gonna sit here and be like, nah, bro, you didn't need to even go that route to, to do that. Like that wasn't necessary. So. That's like so. that's like you planning a cross country trip and you got either option A to fly to drive, fly, or walk. And these niggas is walking. <laughs> and you're looking at them like, what? Why are you doing this? This isn't the this isn't the effective way to get from point A to point B. So that's that's how I see them. And once again, it's not uh, it's not a WWE versus AEW thing. It's it's really just a them thing, and you know it, you get to you get at the point where it's just like, all right, that's done. Now you have other storylines and other things you have going on, and you don't really put the value into it. Like the whole Tony Storm winning the belt. It's like okay, what's next? But then the first thing you do is have a tag team with Ember Moon. And it's just like. How is she going to establish herself, even as interim champion, if you're not giving her a, a few? You're not giving her something of value. Um, and it's the same thing with Warlow. Like, where's the value in the other champions that you have? You have Cesaro as ROH champion, and he's been on uh, Rampage. But where's Mercedes Martinez? Where, you know, like, where? Really? Mercedes Martinez is injured. See, well, they may have to run that. You know what? Not my company, not my problem. So, but it's just, I think he should start really focusing on other things outside of that situation, to be honest. Well, in order to, so. yeah, multitasking I is mean, a terrible thing. Again, when you're owning the company, this massive you have to own about it. Probably a lawsuit. So, like, as far as it's daily duty, so you can't say, don't worry about the lawsuit. Don't worry about these niggas fight. Well, then he needs, to, he needs fighting. to. Delegate. He needs to delegate. Ooh, but again, we're just a lot of speculation. We're not in his office. We don't know what he's doing I right now. I don't want to be in his office. I'm not gonna hold you. Man, that is, I, I would not want to be in a meeting because that that'll oh, probably be the oh. fastest two minutes or the longest two hours. I don't. I don't know what, which way it's gonna go. He sniffed. <laughs> Sugar boots. I mean, I mean, again, when all this, this, this whole Tony Khan situation, again. Supposedly like, he likes feet. He's a feet man. Uh, nothing to do with that. Random that's as fuck. Random, but at all, all in all, is I just feel like that word being a work so much been thrown around so much. Like, like it looks value to me. Like it, because like, it just the, does. because niggas but, have trust but, issues with wrestling. But, but it's just yeah. At some point, you have to know what's real or not real. At some point, but if but they no, don't, no, 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 no. but if they no, 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 don't no, no, present no. it, you don't know. But yes, but at some point, you as an individual have to know what's a work and what's not a work. From like yo, it just a lot of it just comes out to common sense. Like what I mean by that is this way: is yo, why would you ruin the image of your company knowing that how there's so much factor in that factor in for you doing such a work like that? Boom, that's one. Two, if you know you're making some kind of work, you don't think that you're gonna add the extra um, um, um extra element in of shooting this stuff to say, oh, we could put them on television. They can say all of their continue on a week and week basis. Yes. But then Boom. but then hold on, hold on, hold on. If I put 
uh, it on camera, it looks then it looks less real. <laughs> but true. But again, it's still a good storyline. Y'all guys talking about building great storylines. Yeah, this ain't great. great. This saying, ain't it. But that's what I'm but saying. But again, for me, for me this it is, is why this is not a work. No, because but for no, me, no, no, it no, is no, no, though. No. It is a great storyline because the thing about it, you're turning, you're turning CM Punk into a mega heel at this point. Because of but what do you did. wait? But do you or do do the fans turn on Punk or do the fans turn on Hangman Page? So whichever one, get, but they right. still get heat. But let me get this straight. You're gonna waste for what? What's the payoff? Eight months down the road, possibly because okay. he's injured. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, right? And if it was a work, he would have like he was he knew something was off. He would have told them, hey, let's do something else differently. Um, but it's we no, don't no, no, know wait, that. wait, 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 wait. Yes, I understand what you're trying to say though. But there's too much factors in that. Is, there's there's like, so many factors that, that make it into a work as well. That's what right. I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying but to let say. Let me finish. Let me let me finish. There's too much money to be lost and too much of an image to clean up if you do something like this. Y'all only look at it from a wrestling standpoint. But what image needs to be cleaned up? Let me. Let him finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and talk. Since you know. No, I'm just saying. What image know. needs to be cleaned up though? Because at the end of the day, is at the end of the day, like you don't want to see it as, oh, it's a work because they all of this. Why would you let them do that? This, that, and third. He managed teams. If he knows that certain goes out, it makes his team go, um, um, goes, 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 pretty bad. If if a player is over here on the Jaguars, over here doing craziness, he knows like shit. This get to the media, this will look fucking bad at the end of the day. And, and and what they say is a leak in a like people talk to the dirt sheet. They're gonna say certain stuff. So why would people are everybody collectively would agree that yo, I hate what's going on here just for the a, a work. There's too much factors in and like y'all only see that it's a work because of mysteriously they're gonna suspend it, blah 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 blah. If you know your video games is like your video games on the line, you arrest the person who wouldn't work with it not to be there and other stuff like that. There's too much stuff. That is too much of that's factoring. They have a YouTube show that's very popular. You're not gonna do it for for, for like a very long time. Comic Con's coming out. The oh, the guy has some reputation. People who work in the game to be at Comic Con. There's too much stuff to be riding to make this a work. So so so, so, this, so so this is why I push back there. Number one, Tony just came out and said that they are in a good place with Warner Brothers. So that image isn't tarnished. Number two, somebody just said it in the comments right now. He still he just visited Sega, Kenny Omega, to do some stuff with them. Number three, it it doesn't hurt. This hasn't hurted the company though, because everything that has happened so far, they've got a they, they've got a bump in the ratings so far. They had a major bump in ratings, one of the best ratings that they that, that they had. It's then, simple. People being nosy and see what's going to happen. That's what so but that's what I'm saying. But that's why you do that. that. That yeah, that's why you set that's that up to do that. that. And then we keep talking about the dirt sheets, bro. He talks to the dirt sheets all the time. Sean Ross, he got Sanders, them niggas on speed dial. Dave, David, Dave Meltzer, all of them are his friends, and he works with them. So either way, this can go either way of being a worker, or 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 or, or, or it could be um, or, or it could be just a um. K fake, regardless of no, it, it can be reality, but regardless of, of what it is, it could go either way because <laughs> yeah. they because they, literally they get a bump in ratings and then they, they're gonna sell, they're selling out um next week. They, they, they're showing Arthur Ashe Stadium for a second week, so for a second time in a row. So the card is fire, regardless, yeah. of it is, but but, but it the is main fire. event is also the, the, the main event is also Mossy Buster Daniel Bryanson. They're still they're still doing it, or maybe it's a combination of both. Maybe this was a work and it turned left. It could be that too, or maybe it was the opposite and it and it, and it wasn't and, and it turned into a work. It was just like, oh, like you know what? Let's play on it. Like Who knows? I just think that reason why that I, I feel like this is why a lot of shit gets away. The bad shit get underneath the wrong in wrestling because everything's a work. That's my biggest issue. That the word that the work is supposed to be something that you know is just. Everything's work. Everything's work. And years later, you're looking like, oh shoot, it wasn't work. That nigga really did almost try to kill him, or that person really did try to rape that girl. 
Shoot, my bad. Nobody says rape what? doesn't work. <laughs> Listen, I'm just giving extreme examples. I'm not laughing at rape. I'm laughing at I'm him. Saying keep mentioning that. It's just like, I just reach a point when it comes to wrestling, it's just like, yo, I just focus on in the like in ring shit. Everything else after it, I do not care. Because if I focus on everything else around it, I cannot enjoy the product no more. But the thing about it, that that's but that's just you. A because lot of people enjoy the outside like, of it. That's right, what I'm trying to tell you. That's that's what we're all trying to say right but now. Everything's fact, everything's fact, everything's but everything to work. Everything to work. Everything to work. But the thing is, you're not you're not you're not understanding the other point of view, which is that within the time that we have been in in the like right now in the industry, people care about what's going on backstage. Literally, that's every sport. The story of today and, and fucking in, in, in what's going on. Like, for instance, A.B., Antonio Brown took off his, um. remember, remember what, he did, what, what he did at that at, at that game? This yeah. nigga here, yeah. Everybody was talking about it out for like a week. And this had nothing to do with, with, with um football. It was a ball about what he was doing outside of, outside of football. Right now, one of, the biggest story, one of the biggest stories for like a week was Tom Brady not coming to, to training camp. For ten days, and Even now he he leaving he he living separately from his from his exactly. wife, which I'm kind of upset about because like if he don't play very well at, in my fantasy league, Tom, we are gonna have some problems. Okay? But that's what everybody's talking about. But that's um, going outside, we are in an era that the actual product is what we care about. What we care even more about what goes on outside the product. Everybody that's likes drama, sports. and and maybe. And 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 maybe for you that's not for you and that's not your Jews and that's fine. But no, at the end like, of the day, yeah, I use the word work you like can't. Every but the thing, thing, but the thing so though is, is that you can't sit there and and not say that it it could go either way. And that's just really anything in general. It could go either way. And and and, and once again, out. like I can't put that book to come out and it said that. And that's that and, and that's the, the beauty. And that's the but that's the beauty about wrestling is like not everything has to be cookie cutter not everything has to be exact not everything has to be definite it doesn't have to be that and i think how people may feel that it is then that's fine um moving on because you know tony just likes to suck all the energy out of the room um someone asked i can't see who the name is because they have it on oh, well, facebook oh stephanie hardy hey steph um had asked um our opinion on the possibility of nxt um st- um kind of like i guess evolving in a sense um if a lot of you guys haven't watched nxt the last like few weeks they um been building up they just had their one year anniversary this past week of nxt 2.0 um last week uh while we were in orlando we actually went to nxt um which anyone that if you live in orlando if you're visiting orlando i would recommend going and doing just because the experience is pretty dope and it's free and a lot of people that we noticed, a lot of people that were at the show, like they, you know, they're regulars. They 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 bond, they connect with each other. So it's kind of why you get like that corner section when you watch NXT be so lit. It's because all of them go every week, every week. Um, but it was just kind of dope to kind of go there and see the production of it. They also do the NXT level up um thing that be on Peacock. They did that before NXT went live. So I I think once again it's a it's a cool experience to go and see. But um at the end of NXT this week we have a new North American champion which did not see coming at all. Um in Solo Sakaya and um the bloodline is out here dripping and go. Um but towards the end, the very end of the episode, um HBK gave his um last words, I guess, for the episode, but then the logo turned from 2.0 to Back to the NXT original logo, but it had white and gold. Um, so are we in for a new era of NXT? Um, what do you guys think? So, you know what's interesting? When you really think about it, from a let's take away Triple H, let's take away the the um the homely love that we had for NXT to, um gold, black and gold. 2.0 low key was needed because the whole point of two NXT was to bring up younger talent to potentially be the future of the company. And what NXT Black and Gold did towards the end 
it had a bunch of old heads from the indies. Like, and, and this is no shot at them, but it's just like really think about it. Like, a lot of their top guys were older, older people from New Japan, from in the from the independent scene. And them, the, you kind of be like, all right, cool, I see what you're doing. This is a really great show, but is this a separate brand or is this a show that's going to have future stars for, for WWE in general? But if are you a future star, if you're 36 years old, 35 years old, you know what I mean? Uh. So then NXT, NXT 2.0 was that shot in the arm that they kind of needed to bring that fresh new talent, to bring the future of the business up further. Because a lot of times, like, if I'm drafting, like, like, think about it in regular sports. Are you going to draft a 36-year-old LeBron or a 26-year-old LeBron? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're, you're thinking about longevity. The 36-year-old six, LeBron is probably last another three years the most. Taps. Well, it depends on, like, what they've been doing, but... Yeah, yeah. but 26-year-old LeBron's last, last another 10 years. You're paying... I'm, I'm paying you money. I'm paying you top dollar. I'm giving you a place to live. I'm giving you um, a place to work out, to be, to be better. I want young talent's going to take my company to the next level for years to come. So yeah. I understand, like... Talking to people and just understanding that this understanding means you're kind of like, yo, NXT 2.0 was needed. And the reason why is needed because they needed that influx of young talent that they can mold to become the future of the company. And so I think looking back at it, hindsight is 2020. This little phase that NXT went through was needed. Now they can go to this next phase with both like quality young talent and then sprinkle some older talent from the independent scene or, or, or from even WWE. To or for the back. main roster. I think it's pretty dope when they've had, I, I actually have liked that they've had sprinkles of main roster on NXT, even going to when Ziggy was NXT champion. <laughs> like that was a thing. Or when Natalia versus Jade happened. Um, or Cora right. Jade. Natalia. <laughs> I'm dead. Or um or even Rico Booty out here with Carmelo and stuff. And I just think it's it's a it's a different breath of fresh air that um you know and, and everybody doesn't take well to change. So a lot of people push back on the NXT 2.0 when it first started and even kind of like still. Um but I always tell people if you're interested in story like if storylines is your thing, then NXT 2.0 feeds that. And I think that's the beauty about wrestling is there's different there's different shows for different things that you like. Like some people just you know prefer just straight up wrestling, and sometimes AEW is probably that place to go to. Um, if you want a mixture of of all the above, then WWE. You know, everybody is like Basket Robbins almost. <laughs> it's like so many different flavors, but when you mix them, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, but I I'm excited to see where NXT goes. Um, moving forward, because they they've actually built a lot of stars from the 2.0 brand. Like you had um, Legato that you know left NXT, so hopefully to see them soon on a main roster. You have um, Tony D'Angelo, you have um, Carmelo, you have Braun, you have what's um, that, Roxy. What's that thick gay boy name? Quincy. Quincy. Okay, Quincy. Yeah, yeah. He he was at on what's the name show? What show? At Billy show that we went to like a year yeah, ago. Yeah, they all was there. Ham, Trick, all of them was in that corner over there. But the thing about it is, like, what I know about NXT 2.0 is it was just NXT before it went on USA Network. It was the same thing. Because if people notice and if you pay attention, get them NXT, it was just like that. It was a bunch of young stars getting championship, sprinkling on talent for the main roster. The Natalia, the Tyson kids, you know, and they had the character work. Like they had the character work. You saw the um you saw the Lone Wolf character develop that develop that. You saw the um Juice Robinson, um Juice Robinson, you saw Sammy Callahan at one point. All these dudes had character. And then they had to compete, so they had to get established guys. 
So NXT 2.0 was the same shit that they did before. Get these indie guys that who are not like you know like on the main event level, but they still good. You know, like you know they still draw. You get those guys and you make them to your main event. You sprinkle in the main event talent. So them, everybody going, oh my god, they're going to NXT black and white, whatever. I'm looking like it's the same thing. Branding, that's it. That's the only thing that they did that was differently. The branding is differently, but it's smart branding because. It got people to watch it. Now it get more people to watch. Like, oh, it's something new. Boo, boo, boo. Right, like the logo went up, and now everybody wants to be back on the NXT okay. bandwagon. It's like, um, which, well, which was you, we were shooting in the gym. NXT was like what AEW was, but AEW is right now. Yeah, that's what NXT Black and Gold was. Like, let's just keep it a buck. It's what AEW is right now. That type, of, very interesting. that type of wrestling, but it's very much similar to that, where you have some of your favorite. It depends on the matches, huh? Mm-hmm. It depends on the matches because even now, because mm-hmm. they've kind of dissolved NXT UK, you have a you have a, a handful of the of the UK people coming over and being on the NXT brand, and like they have a guy that um really I think he's from the same country Khan's from. He's debuting next week on NXT. But it's a black the guy. Way, that's the same thing with AEW, where they go, somebody's random, like, in the, especially in the beginning of AEW, somebody's randomly debuting. They're just coming, they're, they're coming in, they're doing something. It's just that these people are under contract, on like AEW. And the wrestling is more... Well, depending on who. Depending on who's on contract, because some, like, that shit is a real thing. Like, people that are contract at AEW, so like, clearance, they no, still got a whole... No, I'm talking about AEW. Like AEW didn't have 100 people on the contract. NXT does. No, everybody's yeah. on the contract. Everybody's, everybody's doing that. So that's the even to the security team. guards. The security guards is trainees, <laughs> and they and they got one of the security guards now on NXT. Like he wrestled last night, <laughs> the other night, and I said, like, "Oh my god, where did he come from?" But but yeah, but that's but that's what it is for the most part. Where it's like they were very similar in the same thing. So that's why people was like, "Oh my god, this is NXT is for the internet." That's what NXT was for. Just like AEW is for the, it's, it's for the internet. It, okay. It, it, it's, a, it's a niche within a niche. Okay. Um, Oliver Carter is a new guy coming. Yes, that's the guy's name. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because I was like, yo, who is this guy? And then when they posted like that he was from Africa, I was like, I think that's the same country that comes from. <laughs> but what we did interview, which you can go back on our YouTube and watch our interview with Khan. Thank you. Cheap plug. Um, all right, let's go into this week in wrestling. Um, some highs and lows, the things that we've you know that we watched um from SmackDown last week, uh, Raw this week. We talked about NXT, um, and then AEW was yesterday. Yeah, Hank. <laughs> Yo, so what, Hank what was some highs Canada. and lows? Yeah, yeah. You can tell he's African because he got an American name like uh you can tell he's well forward. it's it's um this week was like eh? First of all, <laughs> first of all, I don't know what is between Rhea Ripley's legs, but she has Dominic Mysterio turned out, and is, he's a whole different man. Like she probably have the same poom poom that Erica Badu has. First of all, she Erica not Badu smashing that little boy. So you want to stop? In Fame right world. And not in <laughs> the same age. Stop like I was like, I was like, there she's not. That's not Definitely who she's not. smashing. Not rare. The person who plays Rhea Ripley is not smashing. But I don't care. Rhea Ripley, the character smashing. on WWE Raw, is definitely smashing Dominic Mysterio. She is giving him the grip, grip, and the guac three thousand. And Dominic does not know how to act and doesn't know what to do. He is trapped under a spell. That is the only... When she said, like, two weeks ago, I made him a man, I said, I know what happened. I know what well, happened. It could be something similar that Eddie just came to his dream and said, like, yo, don't trust your dad. He's a snake. Nigga, no, what? it could be... And Eddie could have came in the dream. What? <laughs> That's the route we're going today? <laughs> okay, guys. This is the same yeah. wrestling... That had Undertaker die in front of our screen and come back. Undertaker yeah. done died a few times, so 
Didn't his castle get struck by lightning or something on one episode? Yeah. Well, that was when he returned. His and then um, after that, you saw his. Spirit. Yo, there was one pay per view. They like beat. It was one pay per view. It was. A, it was like an in your house that they beat him up. They jumped him, and then like the spirit of the Undertaker rose. It was. It was weird. That was a weird time. Yeah, when like Randy burnt his burnt his um casket. Yo, can we talk about that? That yo, the the Monday after WrestleMania fourteen, these niggas had the casket of their parents on the fucking top of the ramp. And fucking, he threw the Undertaker in one of them caskets, and and then Jr. and the King is also I'm like, yo, he threw him in the casket with his daddy. I said, all right, y'all, y'all, y'all taking it too far. Now. But, the, but like, then again, this is the same wrestling that too far. <laughs> Big it's Boss too Man far. <laughs> took Big Show dragged a casket. That was one of the top five things ever, son. Uh, yo, he dragged a casket. Nah, that was that was beautiful. Was you beautiful. know what we was watching the other night? Well, we keep falling asleep on it. Um, that fucking Taboo Tuesday. Two, we were watching the 2005 Taboo Tuesday. If you have Peacock, go back and watch that shit. That shit, like they should, me and Loki should bring that back and have. Wait, wait um, was I dreaming this, or was what? I just high, something like that? Is it like NXT um bringing that back? They talk about no, so so okay, no, so okay, okay, this so past so yeah. this past week was the whole like voting thing. Mind you, it I was trying to find where to vote. It was no voting shit, to be honest. Oh. But um, but yeah, NXT had claimed that they had vote. They had people vote for like the matches for this past oh, um okay. episode. So when they had okay. announced that when we went, we were like, yo, let's go back and watch like Taboo Tuesday. And see how that shit was back in the day. The shit is wild. <laughs> shit in 2005 was a wild year. I will fire. say that. All right. So besides Benjamin, besides little Ray Ray son being hypnotized by some pussy, uh, what else is going on uh, for I y'all? Didn't think, I didn't see anything too crazy this past week. The only Whoa. thing was, and this is this is this is just reality, is that. The bloodline reigns supreme. The Lord. The bloodline reigns supreme. The fact that their little brother is part of the bloodline now is top tier. That's it's so one. dope. It's number so two. Dope. Number two. Sammy Zayn. Yep. Gold. Yep. Gold. Sammy Zayn is just amazing at, at character work. The mere fact that he's trying to be a Uso. <laughs> he keeps throwing up his ones like me too, me too. <laughs> yeah, like he keeps throwing up the ones. Like, all, all the way then, growing up. And then and Jay Jay like, oh, keeps doing like your dog. Not like, you're not part of this, but that is because which one? Yeah, Jay, Jay's the one that don't like him. Yeah, yeah and Jay. then but then Jimmy's like, nah, nah, come nah. On. That's the homie. <laughs> and then when Solo, then when Solo came on SmackDown, and he was like, nah, like you cool. Like so, it's funny because the two of them like, yo, he's cool. But then Jay be on some like, yo. I don't fuck with this nigga. He's not an Uso. Like he's not a oops. So it's so the dynamic I think is so you, good. You know, and and you, 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 <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Like, this is gonna sound crazy. It's like the bloodline is like the um the black Muslims. With the bean and pies the, and shit? Uh, yeah. Huh. So, so they're, they're like the black Israelites. Like the Israelites? Okay. Yeah. You know, the bloodline is like the black Israelites, right? And that Sammy Zay is that one white boy that, that got that kind of infiltrated. That that him. trying to fit in and trying to get the word. Yeah, so so he's like part of the team, <laughs> but then there's that one black Israelite, which is Jay. That's like I don't trust this. I don't trust I, the, don't, don't trust the white man. White. Like I'm also white. I'm like, white. don't trust the white man shit. Like he's not I'm... one of us, but everybody's like, nah, he cool, he cool. <laughs> so but the thing about it, a part of me really wants Sammy. To like break the team apart, like do some real messed up shit to the team and break them apart. <laughs> but another part of me doesn't want that to happen because he's working so because he's so good, well, so good. He's um, what else is out of this? What else has um, been going on? Um, oh, I kinda, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Fire promos. Um, the, honestly, this shit with Dexter Loomis and Miz is hilarious to me. Oh, just because son. Dexter Loomis fire is just fire. I love him so. <laughs> It's so Fine, funny to see man. how that's been progressing. No. I really what? I was thinking about this when I saw the the segment with Dexter Lumis and um the Miz. And Miz. And Miz. He can be that character 
that Undertaker was. Not yeah. exactly um like you know, um a, like you know like an actual like demon or whatever, but like that type of mystic type of character where even though we all know this is not real, he does it so well that we just accept it. And that it fits within the modern era. Like what Undertaker was doing during his time, the lightning, the very, like we just talked about very alive stuff. Dexter Loomis can be on that type of level of like insane borderline movie type of like scary. Like thriller. Yeah, like a thriller, like a thriller person throughout his career. If he can really fine tune it even more, even though he's doing an amazing job with it and just keep working with that. I think there's like so much things that he can do and still be that type of character. I just feel like And it says and in all honesty, it actually says a lot more about Miz. And people always talk about Mike Mizana, but, but, but Mike Mizana will play the fuck out of a part now. So it's exciting to see what will be He's gotta coming pop out soon. At, at the house. What? Right, like he got to be in the bathroom or something, or like taking a shower or some shit. Like you got to be wild. Like when Marissa, that's his, that's, um, Maurice. Maurice, Maurice is like in the crib taking a shower. She opens up the thing. That's the Loomis is standing there. Correct. The shower curtain. That's Loomis is standing right there. And then close it back, and it runs out, and it runs back, and he's not there anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I was gonna say was, and we'll wrap up. Um. I'm really excited about Bobby and Seth next week on Raw. Why? That because shit? Seth Rollins. Correct. <laughs> well, that and because it started off with Seth, you know, saying like, I'm coming after the title and all that because apparently he's going to be the next to go, you know, go back and forth with Roman a little bit. Um, but it was a cool backstage segment, you know, with him and Bobby. Bobby out here looking like Rico um, on South Beach with the all brown on. Mm -hmm. Um, but them having that interaction, I didn't even think of something like like that. That that was something so far fetched. Like when I saw it, I said, "Wow," because I think you know a lot of the people have been you know a lot of people have been saying like you know they want to build the morale for even the mid card titles. So like even with with Gunther and Sheamus's match at um, Clash at the Castle, mm -hmm. and even next week. Now with Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley for the United States side, like it's just like what? So it's it's an interesting time on those parts um, of the WWE, um, but it's exciting to see what's next. Um, any last thing? Oh, last question to you guys, and then we'll wrap up. Um, so a lot they've been struggling with trying to figure out this whole two belts thing with Roman. So as before, USA has been on the we want a champion on raw <laughs> on a consistent basis um uh, so my question to you guys is um what would you do to get one of the belts off oh well y'all you come back when you can survivor series but to do what though one and how do you do it one. but how do you do it without roman not taking a pin not looking weak survivor series but explain it it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a a match, and this will start the the breakup of the Usos, no breakup of the Bloodline. It's gonna be Bloodline versus another team. The captain of that team wins the raw the, the raw title. Okay. All right. Interesting. I mean, for me, it's a triple threat. That's the easiest way to do it, but. Um, oh, the other way I did say, I forgot who I said it to, was having Roman run back and, um, and go into Rumble, into the Rumble, put one of the belts on the line at Rumble and have whoever wins the Royal Rumble become Raw champion. That was what I thought as something that could happen. Because they did that before. They had him, you know, defend the title in the Rumble before, so. That was kind of like where I was leaning towards, but it's going to be very interesting. The next few months are going to be interesting leading up to Rumble and then going into Mania season. And then also, too, with Full Gear coming up, AEW is going to once again be here on the East Coast, so um, in Newark. Um, so that's actually pretty dope, like, if people want to go um, to the show. They have, they have um, AEW next week here in New York, um, and then Raw will be here 
we get the raw after um extreme rules so we get the fallout episode so that's pretty cool too but um but all right um i don't know where your brother went but um it's time to say goodbye <laughs> um next week uh we'll be back around this time um some schedule changes is happening so we're gonna record a little bit um remote but then we'll be back in the studio soon once i get my life together um, right. but as always, I'm Janelle from HR here with Starbucks and Mr. Black was here. But um hashtag black excellence, hashtag we are out. I was over, got the hands in motion. If you go with rolling, no need to focus. Traveling states and over oceans. You gotta wait till your coast chosen. Trying to have lines outside the show, like every part of religion, that bronze and noble.